Hi, I'm Chloe from Knitting Central, and today I'm going to show you some basic lace techniques and my favorite lace stitch, the horseshoe lace pattern. The first thing you need to know about lace is the yarn over. That stitch is abbreviated YO. And to do a yarn over, what you're going to do is be in the knit position, bring your yarn forward between the needles, and then knit again from that position. And you can see that that creates a hole and it also creates an extra stitch on the needle. Where we had two before, now we have three. So a lace pattern is usually made up of yarn overs and decreases in order to maintain the same number of stitches on the needle. So we are gonna work on the horseshoe lace pattern today. Uh, it's one of my favorites. I use it in a few different designs, including the Atta Sparkle Shrug and the Florentine Lace Gloves. And it's a very versatile pattern. You can see right now, I've knitting it on big chunky needles, but for the lace gloves it's on smaller needles and lacy yarn. So we're going to cast on a multiple of 8 plus 1, which means you're going to take 8, multiply it by however many pattern repeats you want. As you can see, this right here is one pattern repeat, and another is here. So each one of these triangles makes one pattern repeat. Today I multiplied it by 2 to get 16, and I had 1, and now I have 17 stitches on my needle. Okay, let's start. So for row 1, I'm going to knit 1 stitch. Now I'm going to yarn over, bring my yarn between my needles, and then from this position, knit 2. So that created my first hole. Now the next stitch is all sort of one. It's slip one, knit two together, and then we pass the slip stitch over. So we slip, then we're going to knit the next two together at the same time. And now we pass this slip stitch over and off the needle. And that's a double decrease. So we've taken three stitches and turned it into one here. Now I'm going to knit two and do another yarn over. Now I've gotten to the end of my pattern repeat and I jump back to the beginning. I knit one, bring my yarn forward to yarn over, knit two, I'm going to slip one, knit two together, pass the slip stitch off and over, knit two, and yarn over. And now if we count, I still have the same 17 stitches I had before, and I also have a few holes for my lace. Now row two, in this case I'm going to purl. If I were doing, say, the Florentine lace gloves, I'd be knitting in the round, so I would just knit that row. Okay, when I get to the yarn over, I'm just going to knit it as though it were a regular stitch, make sure I go through the front, uh, sorry, purl it as though it were a regular stitch, and go to through the front, and that creates that nice hole. And now you can do this pattern stitch with a different multiple, if you want it to be, say, bigger or smaller. Um, I think for my Add a Sparkle, it's a multiple of 10 plus 1. And that just gives a, a larger pattern repeat and also a few more rows are needed. So this is a six stitch repeat, a six row repeat, and we're going to do those six. Okay, so that was row two. Now row three. We're going to start with the knit two. Now again the yarn over. And you'll notice the yarn over on the row below falls in that second stitch place where we had before. So that was a yarn over. Now we see there's a hole in that second stitch. So we're going to yarn over now. Knit one. Slip one. Knit two together. Pass that over. Now we're going to knit one again. Yarn over. And there's that other yarn over from before. Now we're going to knit one. So now we're back to the beginning of the next repeat, so we have to knit two now. So that's important. Some people 
forget that they have to knit one at the end and then knit two at the beginning. So really you're knitting three stitches in a row. One, two, three. Now yarn over, slip, uh, sorry, knit one. Now we're going to do our slip one, knit two together, and pass over. This decrease gives us a, a left slanting decrease. There's other ways to do double decreases that can give you either no slant, so the middle stitch is popping up, or a slant to the right. Yarn over, and then we end with knit one, but then we also have to give our knit one stitch at the end. And we'll be right back for row five. Yarn over, and this time we're going to go right into our slip knit pass. So my yarn is in front, and I pull it back around the needle for the yarn over. I'm going to slip one, I'm going to knit two together from that position. So my yarn over tends to kind of pull over my slip stitch here. So just be careful that you know which is your yarn over. That's the hole there, and which is your slip stitch. Now we're going to pull the slip stitch over and off. Now you see we've created that nice hole. Now again, yarn over. Now knit two. Again, as you see in the pattern, we end with a knit two, and we have to jump right back to the knit three. So that's a total of knit five. And one more time, you have the yarn over, so bring your yarn forward between the needles and back to the knitting position. Slip to your left or your right hand needle, knit two together, and be careful of that tricky stitch. You can see that this is the slip stitch here. And that's the yarn over there, so we're going to bring that off and over. Yarn over again, knit two, and we end with a knit one. So we're all good. Now you can see we've created one vertical repeat of six rows where we have this horseshoe lace here. And the last thing about lace is that it really opens up when you block it. So if you're knitting lace on small needles, sometimes it tends to look squished or you can't see the holes. But when you block it, it really opens up and comes to life. And that is the beauty of lace.